Good morning, guys, from me and Cheeks. Say hi, beautiful. She has learned how to sit up. What's up with that face? And she is loving sitting up and playing with her toys. You're such a big girl. Yeah. Anyway, so yesterday was Jesse and I's five year wedding anniversary, and so today my mom is coming to watch her for a couple hours and we're gonna go out and do some fun things which um i kind of planned like a mini date for us so he doesn't know what we're doing um but it will be the first time since she's born that jesse and i have like gone out on a date for like more than just a couple like an hour or so <laughs> without her um so we're excited to get out because we've done a lot of like dates, but they've always been with her. So it's kind of like not a date. What are you looking at? Hi, big girl. Oh, bless you. Whoa. Oh, hi. Hello. You want the camera so bad, huh? Say hello, everyone. Whoa. I'm trying to grab it. <laughs> Cutie. pumping in the car. Jesse had to run in somewhere really quick um, just before we go and do our special thing. So hashtag mom life, um, having to bring your pump everywhere because your baby's not with you. Guess what we're doing? Bowling. We're <laughs> rock climbing. What did you think of rock climbing? My fingers hurt, but it was fun. It was yeah. a lot of fun. I actually decided it'd be funny to drop me and then snag the rope to where I popped my groin. <laughs> it was an accident. But um, it was fun because it was something that like, I think maybe we've done it together before, but like a long time ago, so. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since I've been. Yeah, so we got a little workout in doing that. Now we're gonna have happy hour at this, um, new place that Jesse's never been to. Then we're gonna go home and get sweet cheeks. going to continue the vlog. It's a couple days later from the last vlog, but we're going to continue it. Hi. 
<laughs> She's getting all excited. And this little girl, hey! It's like the same thing every vlog. He comes over thinking I'm talking to him. She's excited to see the camera. But she just turned five months old yesterday. And this morning I purchased the Feeding Littles uh, online course to go over baby led weaning because that's kind of what I really want to do with her. And she's definitely getting close to um, starting solids, which is crazy. She can sit up unassisted on her own. She's reaching for our food. She's reaching for whatever's in our hands. So it's ever on the table and she just seems really interested in it. So I know we are getting close, but uh, we'll probably wait just a little bit longer. Huh. It's actually kind of emotional for me and I didn't think this would be emotional, but are you gonna dance? Dance, dance, dance. <laughs> Um, it's actually kind of emotional for me in a way um, because I am the only thing that's grown her like in my belly and then she's been breastfed exclusively and so um, it's kind of like me giving up that in a way like a little bit I know it seems kind of dramatic but it is a little bit emotional and it also means that you're growing up and you're a big girl huh yes but I did a five month update on her. I got to edit that. I did a video on our sleep stuff. I got to edit that. But otherwise today I actually kind of feel crappy in a way. Like I don't feel sick, but I'm really dizzy and not like nauseous dizzy. It's almost like I'm drunk, but not drinking and I don't feel nauseous, but that's what I feel like the spinningness and TMI, but I started um, my little friend for the first time and so maybe that's part of it but I've never had that issue before but I've also never had it after having a baby so I don't know it's kind of weird but during her first nap I laid down for a bit just to like see if that helped but I woke up and I'm still dizzy and it's fine if I'm not moving a lot but when I turn my head or move or stand or bend down stand up I feel lightheaded so we're just gonna be careful with that so since Callie's been sleeping through the night and not eating. I'm still waking up one time to pump, but I've definitely noticed a change in my supply. And I don't know if that's just because she's eating more during the day, so I'm just not feeling as full, or if it's because she's not eating as much during the night, so my supply is going down. When I pump at work, on the days where I work, and I have to literally pump for every single feed because she's eating bottles, I'm still making a little bit more than what she is eating. But I just don't feel as like full, which is fine as long as I'm making enough for her. But I just want to be very careful about my milk supply because the thought of it like going down really scares me. And I like I love breastfeeding and the thought of like losing that makes me really sad. And so I am just making some lactation bites and it's just some ground flax seeds, some brewer's yeast, peanut butter oatmeal like oats and then um, I'm gonna do a little bit of chocolate syrup because I um, can't have uh, the chocolate chips that I have in my fridge because they have milk in them and I'm just gonna kind of do all these ingredients and mix them up and then you just refrigerate it and make them into little balls or bars or whatever you want but I'm going to have these for on hand for snacks so that way they can help with my milk supply just ensuring that it does not go down anymore. And if you guys are breastfeeding or have breastfed and your baby's sleeping through the night, do you get up and pump still or do you not? And how has that affected your supply or has it not? So it's hard for me to tell what has, what's the cause of it affecting my supply, either her not eating through the night or she just eating more through the day. So this is one of Callie's new favorite things to do, is I come sit her on the sink counter and I get her hair a little bit wet. The dog's been outside in the morning. And then we brush your hair. Yeah, beautiful. She likes it. Actually, I think she just likes coming and sitting on this thing so she can pull and grab and tug on everything that's around her. 
Yeah. But her hair is getting so long that she can like finally, it's finally kind of staying down better. Look how beautiful you are. Hi guys, look at me, I got my hair done. So beautiful. It's still a little wet, but you're so cute. Good morning, guys. I think it is like a week later since I last vlogged, and let me kind of fill you in on why it is has been a whole week since I last vlogged. I think in the like some of the last clips I filmed, I might have said something about how I was feeling dizzy. I can't remember, but anyways, I was feeling dizzy um, that one day. And I thought it was just because I started my friend for the first time. And um, the next day, I kind of felt a little off. Like my skin was super sensitive. You know, when you're sick, your skin sensitive. And um, you like, it hurts to brush your hair and all those things. But I didn't feel any other symptoms other than that. So I was like, oh, this is really weird. Um, and again, I just attributed it to my period and took some ibuprofen, went to bed. And that night I woke up with the stomach flu. And ever since then, I have been <laughs> battling the stomach flu. It is a thousand times better than what it was, but literally I had it for like three straight days. And it was rough because it was during the week. And so we didn't really have anyone to come and help me um, <laughs> watch Callie. And so her and I just toughed it through. Fortunately, by the grace of God so far, she has not gotten it. And I don't wanna jinx it, so I'm just gonna keep saying she hasn't gotten it yet for the rest of her life <laughs> because I don't want to jinx her getting. I mean, the second I say, oh, she's she made it past, she's not gonna get it. She's gonna get it, and it's gonna be really terrible for her and for me. <laughs> so um, she has not gotten it yet, and I, the only thing I can attribute to her not getting it so far is my breast milk um, because I am with her all the time. I kiss her I mean I'm good about washing my hands and things like that but still like she's like right here all the time so I had the, the stomach flu for several days and then I'm still like recovering it's still not a hundred percent better um, still having a couple little episodes if you know what I mean but um, I'm not like having fevers and things anymore so it was pretty rough anyways today is um, kind of a fun exciting day I am getting my nails done later. I am have a baby shower to go to later. And um, what else? Oh, I have an OBGYN appointment um, in a little bit. So after Callie goes down for a first nap, we will head to that. What beautiful, she's looking at me and like, hi mama. Yes, you love when I talk off. Oh, you see the camera? Look at that cute girl. Okay, Cheeks is down for her nap. I am all ready for the day, which is actually the first time that I have gotten ready in a long time because I'm um, not feeling well. And I'm gonna record a couple videos that I need to record and I'm gonna do, I think like a mom and baby Q&A to answer some of the other questions that you guys asked on my Instagram. So if you're not following my Instagram, go follow my Instagram because I do stuff like that on here, on there, you know, all that good stuff. Baldy. How many clips do we have of us doing this? Walking out after your nap. Yeah, I'm talking. <gasps> Hi. Hi, beautiful. Hi, beautiful. I love you. Yes. Guess what? <laughs> you and Mama are gonna wear matching outfits. Well, they're not like completely matching, but they're very similar. Beautiful. Hi. 
Hey! I've got some shoes on her. They're, well, they were kind of a little big. I might have to change them. We'll see. You gotta brush your hair though and then put your bow on. Hey, what are you doing? I'll give you milk one second. <laughs> so, I have a question for you. Do you want to wear these shoes or do you want to wear these purple ones? It's a very important question of the day. Are you going to answer? You're just so cute. You're just so cute. See, I'm hmm, not quite sure. Not quite sure. <laughs> Purple shoes or these? Yeah, I know you like playing with them. <laughs> so we just got back from my appointment yeah you did so good i felt bad because she it took a little while so she was in her car seat for like an hour and a half but she did great just kind of hung out played with her toys and she came home and took a nap and now we're playing in her room she's just getting so big guys look at her she's just sitting up playing yes you i'm talking about you It's a pretty big tower. Did you build that? It's like a course not, Mom. Don't have them skills yet. But I know how to knock it down. You gonna knock down the big tower? Maybe not. Maybe I'll just stare at it. Huh, beautiful.